Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we're going to look at a scenario that may happen to you in RescueZilla if you are trying to back up or clone a Windows system. The problem has to do with Windows hibernation and there is an easy way to work around it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on our Windows system. And if we hibernate the system and then come back over here, we can see that it's showing that the guest is not running. Its status is updated, the guest is not running. So if we were to go ahead and go into hardware, we can change this to RescueZilla 242 and say OK. And if we were to go ahead and boot this up, all right, if we were to start a backup, back up the Windows drive, all partitions, and we're going to do it over the network. Okay, backup images is my file store. And it wants us to make a new folder. Win 11 hibernated. Okay. And we can say next, next. And we're going to do fastest on that. So basically no compression and go. And it should give us an error here in a little bit. Okay, right here is the, well, briefly there was the error. So basically the problem is that Windows is hibernated. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the machine. We're going to adjust the boot order, boot back into Windows, and then we can, instead of hibernating or shutting down, we're going to restart, and at the restart, we'll go into RescueZilla. So we're going to come here and we're going to start and we're at the desktop. Okay, so now instead of shutting down with the disk you're going to boot from, so this can be an ISO in a virtual machine, this can be a USB stick or a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM rather, if you're using a physical machine. So we're gonna say start, restart, and you wanna know the key to get to your boot menu. For Proxmox, it is escape. Okay, so here we are. We are gonna to come to boot manager and we are going to use the QEMU DVD ROM. And if we come back into RescueZilla, Okay, back up. We are going to go through the same thing we did before over network. Next. And that's a weird error, but uh, basically we just need to create another new folder. When 11 reboot. And we can go ahead and win 11 back up from reboot rescue Zilla 2.4.2. Just so we've got some context later on. Next. And we're going to bring this down. And with a little luck. 
Now I'll fast forward through this just so you can see the whole process and that it does not error and then we'll wrap up at the end. All right, so here we go. Backup summary. Everything completed successfully. And we will go ahead and shut the system down. And reboot back into Windows just to make sure that everything went properly. So let's go ahead and take the RescueZilla ISO out of the virtual optical drive. And we should have our Windows system back up. And we do. And just like we did, nothing to it. And that, my friends, will wrap up another short video from the Practical IT channel on RescueZilla. I hope some of you found this helpful because this is a problem that I see getting talked about over and over again. So a little knowledge goes a long way, and that's what we're here to do. If you liked the video, please take a moment, like, and subscribe down below. Feel free to leave a comment. If you've got a different error with RescueZilla, leave that down below as well. And you may also want to report it as a bug directly to the developer of RescueZilla so it gets more attention. And on that note, thank you all for watching. Have a great day.